Hey, so uh, we get this question coming up quite a bit, which does it ever snow in Dallas? Well, I'm going to give you a second just to uh, answer that for yourself. <laughs> Yes, we're here in Dallas, and I know you've, if you've seen any of our previous videos, I'm always bragging about how nice it is in the winter time, and I don't have to wear a coat, and then this happens. So yes, it does snow in Dallas, but there's some tips and tricks you need to know because as Southerners, we're not used to this at all. And I'm gonna give you those in this video, so you definitely wanna stick around, and we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Dallas, Texas, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas. My name is Levi and my partner Jimmy and I, you know, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you uh, looking to make a move to Dallas. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm cutting in this little clip right here because I'm here in Old East Dallas on Swiss Avenue. And it, this is one of my favorite streets in all of Dallas. So I wanna show you if you stay till the end, I'll take you a little drive up and down the street. It's got some really cool old homes, all the large mansions. And I think it really looks great in the snow. So I wanted to show you that. So stick around till the end and I'll just take you on a little street tour around. All right, now back to uh, the video. So yes, it is uh, the day after Valentine's Day, which is interesting in Dallas because it's always seems like that's one of the worst weather days for us here in Dallas. And I know if you've seen the previous videos, I, I don't wear a coat in January and February. I'm always bragging about the nice weather and and if you get through the summer then you don't have to worry about this sort of stuff and then here's what happens right <laughs> it snows uh, but this is this is literally like a once in uh, every five years type of occurrence so it's just not something that really happens this is a good amount of snow so we love it here because you know it really gives uh, kids a, a good chance to play around and it gives us some excuses to stay home but i will tell you what we're not experienced in this uh, as Southerners, we just don't know how to handle it. And if you're moving from California to New York, there are some things that you need to know as well because, <laughs> because we're not as experienced with this sort of thing. So the first tip I will tell you if you move here and this, this happens, if the weather is going to be below freezing, then what you have to do, the number one thing is, is you have to drip your pipes. <laughs> what does that mean exactly? Well, that means you have to turn your faucets on and your shower and everything and let the water run consistently so that your pipes don't freeze. Yes, now if you're coming from the Northeast, most of the time, those, uh, your pipes are very well insulated. You're, you're, uh, you know, you're prepared for these types of things, but for some reason here in Texas, we don't do that <laughs> or I don't know what the problem is but for some reason we have an issue with pipes freezing and then whenever they thaw out they're busted and then you have water leaks everywhere but if you drip your pipes then uh, then you will uh, you know let that water continuously flow through the pipe and you don't have to worry about it so I'd rather pay a little bit extra on my water bill than having to pay for a, a busted pipe now I just made the mistake I've got an Airbnb um, one of my Airbnbs, I forgot yesterday after the guest checked out and I didn't have a guest checking in until today. So there wasn't a new guest checking in immediately. I forgot to go check that, that property or tell the guests that were leaving to leave the pipes dripping. And so they froze and I had to cancel a guest. So if you own rental property or Airbnbs, you know, things like that, that is something you've got to keep in mind as well is you've got to let people know you know, your tenants or your guests or whoever's staying at the time that they need to drip the pipes, especially when they go to sleep, if it's gonna be freezing overnight, or in this case, when they had left, it got freezing uh, during, the, uh, during the day, and so they need to do that. So that's just something to keep in mind when you come down here, make sure you prepare for that as well. Uh, number two, <laughs> probably don't drive. Uh, don't drive anywhere. They, we, we don't tend to salt the roads down here at all. Uh, we don't even have salt trucks. We don't have snow plows, salt trucks, anything like that. So that's something to keep in mind as well, that it's not gonna, you can see all of these streets, none of them are plowed. 
<laughs> it just doesn't happen. So whenever you get out and about and you try to get anywhere, then as you can see, that's why I'm walking around. But uh, if you want to try to walk somewhere or I drive somewhere, nowhere, I mean, practically nowhere, uh, they might have a couple of snow plows uh, where they can plow the highways, I think. Uh, I don't even know because most of the time it's kind of like I'm not even going to go out there and mess with it. But they, no snow plows, no salting anywhere. Now, um, up north in Frisco, I, I think they, uh, they have sand. They have some sand trucks. But, you know, it's one of those things where the salt and the sand is just going to cover your car completely. So if you can, stay home. That's well advised uh, because you can see that no cleaning of the roads, no plowing, nothing. It's just not going to happen. And, and it's supposed to be freezing here for the next three days, actually. So completely unheard of. So all of this snow is probably going to stick around for the next few days. All of the roads are, this the snow is just going to get packed and packed and packed um, on the road as more people drive around. So that's something to keep in mind and it's just uh, you just want to prepare that's number three is prepare uh, this is this is like the apocalypse for us so everything shuts down everything shuts down yesterday you couldn't go anywhere you couldn't go anywhere it was uh, uh, no stores no grocery stores no restaurants everything you got to do everything you need is going to be shut down so if you see this coming you need to plan accordingly go ahead and get to the groceries plan to cook for the next couple of days plan to uh stay indoors hey you know what schools are going to be closed down if you know if your kids are back in school they're all going to be shut down here uh everything we're, we're getting emails from all businesses everything is shutting down we just don't know how to function here uh, in Texas, uh, in particular in Dallas, when this sort of thing happens. So, you know, that's really the, the three key points that you want to keep in mind. I tell you what, <laughs> I'm, I'm freezing out here, so I might have to wrap this up a little early. But again, if you're thinking about moving to Dallas, um, you know, then just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'll be happy to help you make a smooth move. And also plan, when you plan your trip, also keep an eye out on the weather. We literally had three couples in uh, from uh, out of state, particularly California. Uh, one of them from Minnesota though, and I think he brought the cold down with him. But three couples in from California as well, they did not really get a good picture of, of uh, Dallas. But I tell you what, just keep that in mind, plan accordingly, check the weather. And the unfortunate thing is now we, we weren't able to go out yesterday or today to look at some properties because it's just not safe. So. You know, try to think ahead uh, and then, but also give us a notice, um, you know, let us know so we can plan accordingly as well. We can find some properties, things like that, uh, get lined up or, you know, narrow down your search criteria so that we can be most efficient with our time and it's gonna be great. But other than that, you do get some snow here once in a while. It is a lot of fun. We do like it since it's not that often, but it's cold now, so I'm gonna run inside. So until next time, uh, we hope to see you around town.